Dodge this. Hello guys, OIV Steady from OIV Gaming here. Now I just wanted to do a quick top my top five mods at the moment for 1.3.1 on Minecraft, the PC version. Uh, and this is obviously Armor Stand. You guys have probably already seen it, but it's now available for 1.3.1. Works exactly the same as it did on 1.2.5, but there is a bit of flicking, flickering around the armor, uh, which obviously wasn't there before. But obviously it's a new update. I'm sure the bug will be fixed. So it works in the same way, basically if you right click on the pressure plate, you can put armor on, you can change whether they stalk you, that just basically means to look at you and you can change what character, let's put that one to nothing, uh, that's in there. So this is just standard armor, but the helmet's still following me. Right, to make these, what we're going to do, we're going to go down into my chest room here and we are going to hit this crafting bench. And it's basically three smooth stone across the bottom and then two sticks in the middle and that gives you an armor stand and the item ID for the armor stand and you are then free to do what you want with it add a player in, make it stalker and there we go and on to the next mod alright the second mod is a one that everyone knows and it is too many items obviously everyone knows this now the great thing about this well there's a few great things first of all there is every single block that you can ever need that's in the game even if you add mods with different crafting uh, items and stuff like that in them they'll be available such as these like these shelves and stuff like this and the armor stand obviously you know they're automatically in there and this is another great thing if you're building a house and you have say all your building materials and then you want to do the decorating but you might need the building materials still you can actually save them as presets here so like just for example I put these like four sets of wooden planks in here and then for the decorations I'm, I'd use wool or something like that and just use the, the next one and this saves me having to you know take this one out of here then you know, putting the wool in there whatever you know it saves you things like that so this is a great a great mod for things like that and also as well if we go back into it you can change the time of day and set it to night change the difficulty turn creative on or off on the fly and if it starts raining you don't like the rain because i hate it you can turn that off as well so that is too many items And we are back for mod 3. Now a lot of people have used this mod before, I myself haven't, I just stumbled across it today, for some reason I've never heard of it. Uh, but it's called Raze or Raze Minimap and this is amazing, how did I not know about this previously because I get lost on Minecraft all the time. Now basically this obviously puts a map in the top right hand corner of your screen and all the little white dots are mobs. Um, this red big dot in the middle is this waypoint I set. Yes, you can set waypoints so you shouldn't ever lose your house again. Now I've set it high in the sky, so if I am miles over this direction, for instance, let's let's go and have a look. If I'm over here and I can't see my house from here, and I just look up in the sky, I know my house is 95 meters in that direction, and that is just amazing. Right, and I'm going to show you quickly and briefly how this actually works. So I'm going to set another another waypoint right here. So you press M, that's the hotkey to activate it. And to do waypoints you just hit waypoint. There's loads of options in here so take a look if you install it. And then I can add a waypoint here and I'm going to call this pond because that's what it is. And I'll change the colour, uh, yellow will do and press OK and add. And oh shit, wrong one and that's it basically so now when I move back there was a waypoint there called pond good eh? <laughs> and anyway let's go on to mod 4 we're back for mod 4 and this is called shelf for 1.3.1 and this basically allows you to make a shelf and uh, what I'll do first is I'll actually go and show you how to make it so let's go back down to my crafting room downstairs da -de -da -de -da. hit this and all it is is three wooden planks like this gives you a shelf 
simples. Now what this mod allows you to do, if you don't know, it's just a cool, it looks good, it's basically for aesthetics, but if you right click on it, you get 9 slots, and you can stick anything you like, we'll just do it like that, on this little shelf, and it displays it, and it'll hold it there for you, you can't pick these up like this, and if you want to get it back out, you can, simple as that, it just looks good. <laughs> I actually really like this mod. I'm going to do the same again with a gold, just like so. And I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's go and find. Let's go and get some diamonds and some gold, and we'll fill the other slots up with some nice diamonds to make it look even cooler. Look at that. Oh, let's pick them ones up. Basically for aesthetics, but it looks really cool. I really like this one. Just found this one today as well. So that's called shelves. And we're back for the final mod. Like I said, no particular order, but this is called recipe book. And basically, once you've got the recipe book, I will show you how to make it in a minute. You just right click first and anywhere, and this gives you every single recipe. Um, that's available in the game and if you install mods that have new recipes they will also be included in the recipe book which I think is incredible and all you do is once it's open you can use your left and right arrows on your keyboard to navigate through the pages, pages and it's got every single recipe that you ever need it's good for newbies but it's good for veterans like me I mean I've been play, playing for a long time but I haven't played a lot lately because of the Xbox edition and I've been doing a series on that so I didn't know about like making for instance the ender chest I didn't know how to do that so if I ever get mods with new recipes on it I'll just have new recipe book handy which is a great thing so yeah that's been the top five mods for OIV gaming and I will be bringing these out quite often not weekly or fortnightly or whatever but when I get five more mods that I like I will make another one and it'll be showcasing five different mods if you enjoyed, please leave a like, leave a favourite and don't forget to subscribe. All the links to the mods that I've showcased today are in the description below. And I will catch you on the next one guys. Ciao.